Mary is a new action drama starring Taraji P. Henson, Jahi Winston as a little kid in this movie, and Danny Glover shows up in this movie as well. It's directed by Babak N-word last name, I can't pronounce it. In Proud Mary, Taraji P. Henson stars as Mary. She's a cold-blooded assassin who works for the mob. She was adopted by the mob when she was a kid, I guess. One day, she tries to pull off a hit on a mark, and she does. But the mark has a kid, and then she feels guilty about it. We fast forward a year later, and she's trying to look out for the kid. She tries to help him out of a very dangerous situation. And by helping that kid out of his dangerous situation, she creates a whole new mess of problems. Because now the mob families are fighting, and then there's a big war happening, and she has to find out a way to navigate all that mob bullshit and also protect the kid. Everything about Proud Mary would lead you to believe that the movie is shit. The movie came out in the second week of January, the second full week of January. It was marketed horribly. There was very little promotion for it. They held back on reviews until like the day before it came out or some shit. Even Taraji P. Henson has complained about the promotion for the movie and how black would sell overseas and how come we're not promoting this a little bit more. To put your fears to rest. The movie is not shit. I don't know if that's saying much, but the movie is not shit. It can be enjoyed. There is enjoyment to be had somewhere in this movie. So if you thought it was shit, it's not shit. Taraji P. Henson is one of my favorite actresses. I have loved her in a lot of different things, both in TV and movies. I loved her in Hidden Figures. I have loved her in movies like Hustle and Flow, Baby Boy. You know, the list goes on. She's been really good or great in a lot of the movies that I've seen her in. She is giving a very good performance in this movie. She is. I mean, she kind of blends some aspects of characters that we've seen her play before, you know, like the hot-tempered, motherly, tough love kind of character that we've come to know from her. She has some funny moments. She also is kind of a badass in some of the action parts of this movie, and that was a welcome surprise and something that I really enjoyed seeing. Mostly, she just emotionally, she is the one thing in this movie that makes you gravitate towards it. She also has really good chemistry with the kid in this movie, played by Jahi Winston. This kid has a lot of talent. I'm just saying. He could be drafted for the Philadelphia 76ers one day. Maybe not basketball talent, but you get what I'm saying. The kid is talented. He has a very good rapport and chemistry with Taraji in this movie. When they're on screen, there's good chemistry. And because there's good chemistry, you're invested in them. You care about them. You want to see their relationship work out. And that's really only due to the actors and their performances. By the way, can we just stop the review for like 10 seconds? Can we just stop the review for a second and just take like a 10 second time out to acknowledge how unbelievably fine Taraji P. Henson is? Like, can we do that? Can we just do it for me? Like, this woman is just, this this woman is goddess-like beauty. I mean, can, can we just, can, yeah, let's just, just t 10 seconds. 10 seconds, we're, 10 seconds. Mm. Well, now that that's over, I think that we can get to the rest of the mediocre mess that this movie was. This movie pisses me off. And the reason why this movie pisses me off is because it is frustratingly mediocre. The direction for the movie is extremely average. There is some poor lighting. There's not really a whole bunch of great cinematography to be had in the movie like this. And I get it. You're not going to a movie like this to look for cinematography. But the way that the shots are put together, the way that they're composed, nothing really jumps off the screen for you. It feels like it could have been shot for TV as well as shot for the movies. So the editing and the action sequences wasn't even really all that good. So from a directing standpoint all the way down, it just feels kind of sloppy and mediocre. You know the saddest thing about this movie is that five minutes into it, I knew exactly how the entire movie was going to play out. Everything about this movie is cliched and predictable and overall, Boring. The stereotypical story of an assassin who gets feelings and discovers that she has a heart and then she develops a relationship with a kid and she's trying to get out the game and blah, 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 blah. We've seen shit like that a hundred thousand times before and you've seen it done in way better movies than this. The way that they kind of market this movie, you would think that maybe they're going for like a fresh modern day take on black exploitation. I mean, that's what I thought. I mean, the poster even says killing for the man night and day. It's got the proud Mary song. It's got like that Afrocentric vibe to it, but that never shows up in this movie. There is a pretty good action sequence at the very end of the movie, but the rest of the time you're just sitting there bored because you know everything before it's going to happen. You know what characters are going to say before they say it. The direction is mediocre. The writing is mediocre. Outside of Taraji and the kid, the performances are even kind of mediocre. The Taraji P. Henson is giving a better performance than this movie deserves. And you guys know where we put mediocre movies on the Superfan show. Proud Mary? Yeah. Take a proud seat in the Fortress of Solitude. Alright hey guys, yeah, sure, there are some okay-ish action scenes, but I was bored for most of this movie, and once you step back and you take Taraji out of the movie, 
You ask yourself, would you really want to watch it? If you've seen Proud Mary, what did you think about it? Comment below, let me know. Like and subscribe to the Super Fan Show. And as always, if you like what you see, tell me how you feel. And stay tuned to hear more from the Man of Steel. Peace.